Okay, welcome to the uh, hackathon kickoff plus a core team meeting. So this is the first time we're combining the two sessions and uh, that probably explains uh, a larger number of people on the call than usual. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Uh, I think we have incidences where the kickoff and the hackathon, uh, uh, the, the kickoff and the core team meeting coincided and I, what I typically did was to uh, reschedule the core team meeting, but I think it makes sense to combine it to get the larger community together. Um, so I'm uh, you know, ho hoping this will go well and then I mean, maybe we'll make this a tradition going forward with future hackathons. Uh, so I'm sharing the slide. Uh, let me get into the presentation mode so you can see it better. So uh, obviously the, it's, uh, if you've been to the previous uh, hackathon kickoffs, it'll be slightly different. Uh, I'll, uh, we'll spend about uh, typical 15, 20 minutes uh, just to kick off the hackathon event. And then the rest of the time, about, uh, about 20 minutes or so, we'll have a bit of an abbreviated ses uh, session for the monthly core team meeting. Um, so, uh, yeah, just a way of introduction. I mean, David, you're suffering from a cold, unfortunately. Um, so, uh, I mean, David, do you want to quickly like introduce yourself or? Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. I was telling the, the, uh, the others in the call before that, uh, I'll just have my camera turned off this, uh, this morning, but other than that, uh, I should be fully operational. Uh, I'm David, director of community relations. I work with, uh, with Ray. Um, and uh, other people in the community relations team. And uh, yeah, I'm here to, uh, um, to address any questions and to otherwise compliment any, um, any, um, uh, any info that uh, Ray wants to, to give on the hackathon. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm Ray. I work with the code contributors uh, at GitLab. And uh, I mean, obviously, like I'll, I'll talk about this in, in a few slides, but please feel free to ping either David or myself, uh, particularly on Gitter or even your MRs uh, during the next couple of days if you open MRs or have any questions. Uh, uh, we, our time zones are, are such that, I mean, we should be able to cover for one another while the other person's not working. Uh, so feel free to ping both of us and we'll be happy to help uh, along with the core team members that are on the call. Uh, we'll get to in a minute. Um, so, uh, uh, the traditional sort of agenda for hackathon kickoff. Uh, so without further ado, I'll just go through them. Um, just wanted to remind people of that we do have a community code of conduct at, at GitLab. You can see, go see the about page to get more details. But uh, just like every good open source communities, we want to have an open and welcoming environment. Um, so just want to make sure that, I mean, not that we've had any incidences in the past during the hackathon, but uh, if you see anything that's inappropriate, I mean, feel free to report that to the email alias conduct at gitlab.com and the email actually comes to both me and David. Um, and uh, I mean, just wanna sort of remind people of the code of conduct like uh, we typically do at uh, whether it's a virtual or face-to-face or -face event at GitLab. Uh, so just a quick reminder there. Uh, logistics, I mean, this is, um, you, you probably found these on the hackathon page, but the kickoff session obviously is starting now. Uh, I'll have a wrap up session uh, at 2300 UTC on, on Thursday, uh, but you basically have two days to, uh, in your time zone to submit your MRs. Um, and in addition to uh, working on MRs, we also have uh, various tutorial sessions uh, scheduled. Uh, starting in about uh, eight hours or so, I believe. Um, uh, so we have a tutorial session from uh, the GitLab Secure team, and for the first time, we're doing what we're also doing is having office hours for a couple of the product teams. Uh, the package and runner teams have started their office hours in in January. Uh, I think the package one was actually only like about a week or two ago. Um, and they wanted to have their second office hours to talk to community members uh, to coincide with the hackathon. And these sessions are uh, typically a little longer than a, than a, a, a 
traditional tutorial sessions. I mean, tutorial sessions usually go for about 20 to 30 minutes, but the office hours uh, are longer uh, with a lot of discussions that, that we scheduled for 50 minutes each. Uh, and if you happen to miss them because of the time zone, uh, time differences, recording will be posted on our YouTube channel. So uh, I'll also add the link to recordings on, on the hackathon page when they're available. Um, logistics and support, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I mean, feel free to ping uh, David or myself. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, people like Rajendra and others have been very helpful, uh, and also core team members as well, uh, helping community members when they have questions. Um, so we have quite a bit of uh, quite a community uh, building on on Gitter. I, I remember when we first started this, we had about like 40 people. We're up to like 437, and that was the last count I saw a couple of days ago. Uh, so you'll you should have plenty of people who can jump in and help you out as you're working on MRs or have any questions like on GDK. Um, let's see, let me quickly pause there. David, anything you want to add there? Anything I missed? Oh, sounds uh, sounds great so far, thanks, Ray. Well, cool. yep. And then just a reminder on on the tutorials starting uh, um, uh, later today, your your time. Um, on the 12th, so we got uh, Tim and and actually there'll be other team members from the package team joining on the package uh, office hours. Uh, on the, let me actually go here. Oh, I may have missed it. Give me a second. Yeah, I wanted to go to the main hackathon page. Um, so if you go to the tutorial sessions for like the package and runner office hours, they'll have links to the issues for, for the particular office hour they're holding. Uh, so I think Tim's gone ahead and listed like the potential topics they want to talk about uh, during the office hours. So feel free to take a look there and uh, add any suggestions or comments before the call. Uh, so even if you miss it, uh, Tim or others may be able to cover those topics uh, on the call, and you should be able, you may be able to watch it on recording later on. Um, but so I encourage you to take a look at those issues uh, if you're interested in either package or runner office hours. Um, and going back to the slide. Um, so I listed the time zones, uh, you know, various time zones, like particularly in Europe and in, in the U.S. Uh, for the office hours and and uh, and the tutorial from from David on secure and defend. Uh, you may have noticed that we had to cancel one of the tutorials on Git tips and tricks. Unfortunately, there's been a scheduling conflict. So what I'm, I'm working on doing with that session is to potentially have a separate session in a couple of weeks uh, rather than wait until the next uh, um, quarter's hackathon. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably broadcast on Twitter uh, if I uh, if we manage to find the time in a couple of weeks to have a standalone session outside of the hackathon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, I think the first uh, topic we already talked about. Uh, I'm just mention me and and David uh, uh, to make sure that we count your uh, merge request uh, on the issue. On the and the MRs will be tracked and listed uh, on on that issue there. Um, so uh, I think that's yeah. all. Perhaps you one, point, yeah, one David. thing to mention as well, right? Yeah. Um, if you don't want to uh, have to remember that uh, that issue, uh, you can always go to the hackathon page, um, to the landing page, and then you'll find a link to, uh, to it as yeah. well. On, so, on the counter. perfect segue. Uh, so if you see this counter, just click on this, uh, and then it'll take you to the issue. Uh, and that just confirmed that I had the issue number wrong, which I should change on the slide. But yeah, so thanks for that reminder, David. So I yeah, don't have to remember the issue number. And then as you saw, we're already at uh, 26 MRs, so we're already off to a flying start. Uh, so I appreciate, I mean, I, I noticed like the people that are dialed in here were already submitted MRs, so. 
appreciate that. I'll fix this link later on. Oops. I can fix it for you while, while yeah, you're presenting. Thanks. Don't worry. Yep. Thanks. Uh, so the prizes, I mean, just to, before I move on to the next slide, just uh, uh, one thing I'm going to highlight. Uh, the, the only time we sort of enforce uh, like a strict UTC time zone is the deadline for the MRs to be merged. Uh, so it'll be Tuesday, uh, February 20, uh, 25th at 2300 UTC. Um, so when you submit your MRs, you can work in your time zone, but uh, just be aware, like if you have any issues or concerns about your particular MR being merged by the 25th, I mean, please ping me and or David and, and we'll see what we can do. Um, and then we'll, when we, uh, after the MR uh, merge deadline, the winners will be announced uh, in a separate issue. So you can, you can, uh, uh, you'll be able to find an issue under the hackathon project. So cool. And then, uh, yeah, I think it'll be better to for me to show the uh, hackathon page versus because the image is pretty small on the slide. Uh, the prizes for this this edition of hackathon, uh, the grand prize is the same. Uh, this has been pretty popular. Hundred dollars to spend at the at the GitLab shop, and uh, so that's for a person who has the most number of MRs merged. Uh, and for uh, individuals with the second uh, most MRs merged, uh, this is sort of a, a nice looking power charging station for your phone, uh, ear pod, and, and, and your smartwatch. And it, it confirmed that it works with both Android and iOS devices, so there shouldn't be any issues there. Um, so. That's the second prize, uh, a second place prize. And for everyone who has MRs merge, I found this a nice packable duffel bag. Uh, so uh, so that those are our prizes for this quarter. Uh, and I thought it'd be better to share it on the on the web page versus on, on the slide because the image is pretty small. And thanks David for updating the slides in real time. Um, so the question typically comes up uh, in terms of, uh, you know, how, typically how many MRs are needed for to win the grand prize. Uh, so you'll see that stat from the past uh, six hackathons in, in the red bar, uh, ranging from like seven to like, a, you know, we had a huge number, like 28 uh, last quarter. Uh, but that's sort of been uh, uh, been the number over the past um, past events. Um, and I mean, we actually crossed the 100 MR marked, uh, 100 merge request mark uh, during the last hackathon. Uh, so definitely want to keep that trend going. And uh, uh, I mean, I like I said, we're already off to a flying start at over over 25. So uh, uh, things are looking good already in the in the in the early hours. Uh, but so just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I think, let's see. Um, so, oh, suggested issues for the hackathon. So uh, if you go to actually the issue where we keep track of the MRs uh, at the top, uh, we have like suggested epics and issues uh, that we collected this through uh, number of people, uh, number of team members in GitLab. Uh, we have a couple of big epics on on the front end, uh, and then we I think we have an issue for internationalization, and we also have like issues with the li uh, label "good for first timers." So if you click on that link, you'll uh, get a query results on on the issues that have the labels accepting merge requests and "good for first time contributors." Uh, so these should be relatively easy for uh, a lot of uh, a lot of new people to to tackle. Uh, so um, I recommend that you take a look at these issues if you if you're looking for something that you want to work on. Um, but also want to reiterate. I mean, just because there there isn't an issue like already created, I mean, doesn't it sh you shouldn't be hindered by uh, uh, issue not being uh, not already being open. If you if you think of something that you want to work on, I mean, go ahead and. Uh, feel free to just uh, open an MR and just just ping us and get started. I mean, don't worry too much about uh, opening a separate issue or finding one that that you think is the right fit. If you think there's something that you think 
could be improved on. Uh, even if it's uh, like a fixing documentation, just get started with an MR and then just let us know. Uh, let's see, more on getting help. I already talked about Gitter. I uh, just wanted to let people know about a couple of other resources if you're not aware of them already. Uh, one is uh, we have a group of merge request coaches. I think we're up to 10 people. Um, so in the MRs, uh, you can uh, do this mention to, to get uh, coaches' attention if for some reason uh, your uh, your MR is not being reviewed in a in a timely fashion, or uh, in an unlikely event that neither David nor I are paying attention. I mean, that's another group of people that you can you can ping uh, with technical questions. And if you want to see a full list of like reviewers and maintainers, you can click on this handbook page, uh, and you get a huge list of um, reviewers and maintainers that you can directly ping. Uh, I mean, I've I've said this number of times, like you know, it's completely appropriate to mention or ping anybody within GitLab uh, if you have any questions. And I mean, don't be shy about uh, just directly asking people questions and, and asking for guidance. Uh, so I wanna encourage people to do that. Uh, I think that might be the last slide on the hackathon. Uh, David or even other core team members, if you ha have anything else you wanna add, please, uh, please chime in. Uh, while I pause. Yeah. I just wanted to say thanks, uh, thanks Ray, for the thorough overview. Um, but yeah, just uh, remember everyone that uh, um, we don't just uh, say it, uh, everyone can contribute. Uh, we live by it essentially. So if you want to, uh, to contribute to the hackathon, um, then uh, if you've got questions, feel free to ask uh, anyone. Don't be shy about uh, about it, and uh, we'll be more than happy to help um, both um, um, people from the GitLab team or people from the wider community. Uh, just feel free to ask on uh, on the, on your merge request or on Gitter, and then um, we'll we'll get you. We'll help you get started. Cool. Are there any questions regarding a hackathon? Uh, I mean, you can either verbalize it or even type it in the chat window. Uh, I'll give about 20 seconds for people to ask any questions. Ray, do you have any favorite uh, or particular issue you'd like to uh, see fixed or worked on on this uh, on this hackathon? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? David, can you repeat that, please? Like, Do you have any um, particular issue that you'd like to see worked on or fixed um, during the hackathon? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think of the ones that, uh, I think this one for internationalization, this has been open for a while. Uh, so I definitely like to see somebody um, take a look at this. I mean, this was open like, more than two years ago, like, I mean, 2017. Um, so, um, I mean, this would be a great one for uh, somebody to take a look at, or, or, I mean, I don't, I don't know how, like, maybe this is needs to be done in like a multiple MRs, but yeah, this would be something that I would like somebody uh, to tackle. And then the other thing I noticed uh, of the 26 MRs that came in, none of them were addressing these like a front end, like epics that, that are listed here, which surprised me a bit. Uh, I mean, this one in particular, it's got a huge list of things, like number of issues that uh, Scott listed here. Uh, all of them seem to have like a weight of one and looks like they're relatively easy to tackle if you're interested in front end, but yeah, those are just some of the things that I wanted to highlight. Excellent, thanks. Yeah, sure. All right, so if there are no other questions, then we can sort of switch gears to uh, the core team meeting. Um, so, I mean, here's the agenda for, uh, for the core team. Uh, we have a bit of an abbreviated agenda because uh, we combined this with the with the kickoff, 
what I could do is, I mean, in case people aren't familiar uh, with the core team and GitLab, we uh, could give a quick overview and the core team members, uh, I think most, with the exception of one, uh, are probably on the call. Uh, no, I guess we're missing two. Um, but so we have pretty good attendance. And uh, in terms of like a regular agenda topics, I wanted to talk about the, the community events that we have uh, happening in Q1. Uh, I mean, one of them's actually taking place that David and I can talk about. And, and David, I think you wanted to give a quick update on the advisory council uh, discussion we've been having since uh, probably like a December timeframe. Uh, so those are sort of the two main topics. And I have like one question that, that I have for the core team members in the AOB section. Um, so let me just quickly jump in here and then I encourage like, I mean, not just me and David, but the core team members to uh, jump in as well. So this is, uh, 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 I mean, if you click on this, uh, this image, you'll take it to the core team page. Uh, so this is a snapshot of the core team page and it, it's got, uh, uh, I mean, pictures of, uh, uh, of all but one of the core team members there. I think it looks like we're missing Takuya and, and Ben today on the call, but the rest, rest of the folks are on the call. Uh, so we have one core team member from, from among the GitLab team members, but the rest of them are people who have made I mean, sustained contribution to, to the GitLab community. Um, uh, I mean, I think for, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think most people have made like pretty significant contributions for like a year or so. Uh, at, at the very least to, to GitLab. And uh, I mean, these people are nominated and voted on uh, to be selected on the, onto the core team. So that's sort of um, how, how the core team members get formed. And basically their mission, I mean, to simply put is to sort of represent the wider code contribution community. Uh, so we meet once a month to discuss um, any issues or topics that are, that are affecting the wider community. Um, and so let me pause here and I'll let any of the core team members sort of sort of jump in and, and uh, uh, add anything I may have missed. Thank you, Kava, for yeah. most of the points. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, Anis. So you're probably the longest serving uh, core team member, right? So, I mean, at least like three years, if I'm not mistaken. So. Uh, I think Robert was uh, was there before me. Oh, okay, cool. Right, great, cool. And and we do meet once a month, and the meetings are actually open to everyone. I mean, we have people join outside of the core team once in a while, but it hasn't necessarily been a regular occurrence. Uh, so I think that that's why it probably makes sense to sort of combine. Um, the hackathon kickoff with the core team meetings so that we have more people participating and listen to the conversations that are happening. Uh, and the agenda items are discussed uh, in public. I mean, if I, if I typically have my act together, I, I would open an issue like a week before the core team call and start uh, listing or collecting topics for discussion. And we also do have a wiki page where um, you can find like a meeting notes and, and links to all the recordings. Uh, and if you happen to miss um, uh, the core team meetings, uh, you can uh, go to the playlist uh, on, on, our, uh, on our YouTube channel. And I'm actually kind of amazed, like I, for our January meeting, like a couple of days after I posted it, I noticed that there were like over 100 people do, who actually view the recording. Uh, so I know people do like a listen to and, and watch your recordings. And I encourage everyone to do that. And, and you know, if, if there are topics that you think that, that have been like missed or that we should talk about, I mean, feel free to uh, go to the go to the coaching group issues and, and, and suggest a topic for, for future meetings. I definitely encourage people to do that. Um, so let me pause there, uh, see if people have any questions or, I mean, core team members uh, that you're free to add any other commentary that I, that I may have missed. And even the meeting notes, uh, are are public it's a google doc that's completely open and and open to everybody so uh you should be able to like view the 
uh, Google meeting notes as well. And I'll paste it on the chat window here uh, so people can see it. What I suggest, Jen. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what I suggest is that to, uh, should we use the, some of the weight of the metric requests and the relevant issues instead of the account of the metric request for the price? Uh, Mingwan, can, can we repeat that? I, I think I missed some of what you're saying. Like, I, well, yes, I suggest Jen, is that uh, could, could we please use the uh, some of the weight of the issues instead of the account, uh, the account of the metric request for the price, so uh, okay. it can encourage many people to contribute more complex issues. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's a that's actually a fair question. Uh, I mean that's, um, I, I mean I'll let other sort of core team members and and David jump in as well. Uh, I mean, I mean, in the past, like if if uh, I I don't think there's been a whole lot of controversy in terms of like somebody getting a first prize. Uh, I don't think there were cases where somebody just worked on like a completely uh, simple issues and and just managed to like rack up the number of MRs. Um, so I mean, that hasn't been an issue in the past. And the other concern I have is, I mean, the weight or the the complexity of the MR. Um, I don't know who would be like an objective person who can sort of make that judgment. I mean, I can see where if there was a tie uh, amongst like, I mean, in the past, if there was like a tie amongst two people, I think I awarded like a grand prize to like a both people uh, rather than trying to just pick one. I mean, de depending on like a level of difficulty, um, but uh, I'll just I'll just stop there and and see if David or anybody else has any other like a comments or suggestions. Yeah, I think I think we discussed this in the past, yeah. and uh, we decided against it in the end because uh, the not all issues have a weight assigned to it, to them, and uh, the assigned weight is uh, highly subjective. So. It might be difficult for one person, but it isn't for someone who is familiar, familiar with the code. So it's really hard to assign the correct weight. And uh, I think in the past we just looked at the uh, merged MRs. Uh, and if there was someone who contributed, I don't know, 100 documentation fixes, uh, and someone who contributed uh, one really large feature that was highly requested, I think we uh, we always manage to uh, award the same prices, uh, so I don't see think there's uh, there are much uh, many conflicts there. Perhaps one thing that we could consider on the on the next uh, on the next hackathon is to have a special prize, perhaps on the most voted or the most uh, the one the issue with uh, with mo uh, most weight, but then. Um, Probably it might be worth uh, for the person working on that issue to give a heads up that they're participating in that category, so making sure that the issue that they're working on has got uh, a weight or has got uh, some popularity uh, or perhaps some uh, upvotes. Yeah, I think that's something like we talked about in the past too. I mean, something like a like an MVP prize. Uh, Yeah, I mean, maybe I think we even talked about maybe after the hackathon, core team members can just vote on like one of the MRs is one that we want to highlight from the hackathon. But I mean, that's I mean, that might be something like easy enough to do uh, or as a first iteration. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Thanks, George, for helping with the notes. Well, Ming, Ming Wan, does that answer your question? Like, uh... not others. Thank you. Right.
Thanks. Yeah, I mean, let me know if you have any of the feedback. I mean, that's that's definitely a good question. It was actually brought up in the past, like I think on a Reddit forum as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely something that we'll we'll keep thinking about. Cool. Okay. Uh, just moving right along to uh, the next agenda topic, I um, want to talk about uh, community events uh, that are that have hap that has happened or are happening in in uh, in February and March in particular. Um, so, uh, I mean, if if you've been following on Twitter, uh, I mean, David and I were just at Bosdam uh, uh, about a week ago. Uh, had a uh, uh, I mean, this is sort of this was the second time that we had a uh, formal presence at, at GitLab with a stand, and then this time we were also able to uh, secure a, a burst of a feather session. So I post a couple of pictures there. I had a lot of good interactions and 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 hallway conversations with people uh, that were at the event. Uh, and also there's a link to the retrospectives. Um, I mean, in terms of things that have gone well, uh, I mean, the interactions were great. I mean, people uh, were just eager to come talk to us, both at our stand. Uh, and I mean, to my surprise, the burst of a feather session on Sunday morning was, I mean, there was like a full house. Uh, you can see the picture there. Um, I mean, uh, the, I mean, I don't think there was a like an empty seat like towards the end of the end of the talk, and um, we kept it like a very informal without a formal like agenda topic, but we're able to fill like the allotted 40, 50 minutes with uh, with conversations that that community members brought up. Uh, so the interactions were great. Uh, we also didn't run out of stickers this this year, like unlike last year. I think we more than double the number of stickers that we brought to the stand, and uh, uh, we were able to keep all the visitors happy, uh, which is which sounds trivial, but it's a, it's a big accomplishment. And I mean, they all, I also like the fact that a lot of the GitLab team members that are there that you'll see in the pictures are were active in I mean various dev rooms. I mean, David and I both spent a fair bit of time on Sunday in the community dev room. Uh, there are a number of folks in the in the dev room for Go community, uh, and then I and mean, Ben Kochi's been uh, uh, been one of the organizers for monitoring and observability that room. Um, so our presence was definitely felt. Uh, but I mean, there are obviously things that we can definitely improve uh, uh, next year. Uh, and there are a couple of like logistical items that could have probably helped us at the stand uh, and so forth. You can, you can read uh, more about it in the retrospectives. But I mean, David, am I forgetting any highlights that, that uh, or, or even areas for improvement from from the event. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, I mean, if uh, anyone uh, happened to be at uh, uh, at the event and uh, is watching the video and uh, participated at both or uh, came to visit us on the stand, on the stand, feel free to add uh, your um, notes as well on the retrospective. Uh, this will help us making sure that uh, next time around we uh, we keep improving the the event. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a great event as well. It was uh, also good to see, um, and also to have meetings with some of the projects that we've been uh, working on um, in the past uh, on their migrations to to GitLab. To that extent, we talked to the GNOME folks, to the Eclipse folks, to the um, KD uh, KD team, um, and uh, Debian. Um, so it was uh, it was great to see some familiar faces as well, and uh, to catch up on things that we are still uh, need to work together on. Yeah, and then yeah, I think to, I mean a couple of the heroes uh, came by as well. I mean one of the heroes actually from Hamburg. He drove like eight hours to 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 Brussels, so that that was great uh, to see uh, the wider community members. Uh, and we definitely plan on being back there next year. Uh, cool. Moving on. So the next uh, uh, event that uh, David and I will be at, along with uh, several of our colleagues on the community relations team, is an event called Scale in Southern California. And Ben's not online. Uh, I think last time I talked to Ben, uh, he it looks like he was available to to come join us. Uh, it happens in in a couple of weeks. I mean, this is another event that goes uh, over the weekend. 
Um, and uh, what we're doing at scale is we're sponsoring uh, a half a day called the GitLab Community Day. Uh, so we'll have uh, like a hands-on workshop uh, on how people can contribute to GitLab. Uh, tutorial on on using GitLab through the various stages and uh, uh, several members of the community relations team will talk about various programs that we have for the wider community uh, not just for code contributors but evangelists uh, open source programs and educational institutions uh, so I have a working progress a blog post that people can look at uh, that where they can get more detail and we're uh, hoping to get this blog post published by end of this week uh, and there's also a relevant issue uh, with more detailed discussions on on the agenda topics uh, that we're working on for the community day uh, so feel free to take a look and um, and add comments there or if, if you happen to be from Southern California area and you want to swing by uh, we'll definitely would love to see you at the event um, and the next one uh, later in the month I know a lot of the core team members will be attending is is contribute and I assume in the next couple of weeks more details will be sort of uh, sort of come out uh, but I noticed that a lot of uh, there's already uh, issues, various issues for workshops that have been accepted and self-organized like activities uh, that you should be able to find at that issue if you click on it. And just like we uh, we did last year, we invited several uh, wider community members outside of the core team and we expect many of them to join us. Uh, I mean, there's like one individual uh, that's still having like a visa issues. Uh, but it seems like in most of the others, like they'll, they should be able to join us. So we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, David, anything you want to add here or? No, just no. Uh, I'd say particularly for scale, come and join us. We'd love yeah. to um, to meet you. So, yeah, and there's just the only thing I want to add. I mean, scale. I mean, I went there for the first time last year, and I think they. I mean, David, you have a lot more experience with this event than I, but it's it's pretty similar in, um, in in the uh, in uh, in sort of the atmosphere as it is in it's in Fosdam. A lot of the grassroots type of open source people. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't been to it and and live in the area, yeah, it would definitely encourage you to. Um, come check us out. Uh, let's see, well, without further ado, I'll uh, turn things over to you, David, and on the Community Advisory Council. Thanks, Ray. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update, um, uh, particularly to the to the core team meeting. Um, this is something that I have. Uh, um, I've put on the back burner for the last um, couple of weeks, but uh, I'm starting to um, retake it, uh, and I'd like to uh, to give it a push for a final review this week. Uh, in fact, I'm going to remove the uh, work in progress marker uh, today. Uh, essentially, most of the proposal is uh, is already is already there. Um, I think the only pending um, part is having. Um, a means for um, weather community members to um, to um, to propose um, issues for discussion uh, for the council, but in general, and perhaps I shouldn't have gone right into it. Uh, for those who are just uh, for, um, seeing this for the first time, um, the community advisory council is uh, is a proposal that uh, came up of uh, came out of the discussions that we had um, just before Christmas. Um, we had some uh, some challenges in terms of uh, in terms of communication, some um, some comms crisis as well, and we wanted to make sure that whenever we do any change uh, in terms of policy or in terms of affecting the terms of service, we have some um, guidance and early review uh, mechanism from the from the wider community. Um, so uh, with that spirit, uh, that's where that proposal was born. Essentially, to have a team of individuals that um, can provide that, uh, that guidance and uh, essentially help us keep honest. Um, you'll find the link on the, uh, on the presentation. So um, if you want to add your feedback in there, uh, you're more welcome to and uh, will be really appreciated. And uh, I say, I'm gonna wrap it up this week for the final review. 
and then finally, um, perhaps the most um, relevant update uh, in these few weeks has been that we've been talking to some um, some individuals uh, to join the council as the founding members. Um, as uh, as uh, stated on the slides, thank, uh, thanks George um, and Jacobo from the core team for joining for the uh, as representatives from the core team. And then during the um, during Thursday, we also talked to some of um, the team members from GNOME and KD. GNOME committed to joining the, the council. We spoke to Carlos Soriano from GNOME, who also uh, led uh, the initial migration to GitLab. And then um, we had a meeting with the KD team, um, and they are interested also in participating. Um, it's just a matter of uh, nominating a member from, from their team. Um, so I'll be adding that to the to the uh, to the merge proposal, uh, proposal as a to the merge uh, request as a as an update to the proposal later on today. Um, finally, um, I noticed also a comment from Vitali on the uh, on the MR. Um, for some reason, the uh, review app is uh, is not working. Um, but I had had a look uh, uh, in too much uh, too much detail. I did an update this morning. To retrigger the, the deployment, but it seems that the review app is still not uh, not working. So I'll I'll have to dig out what's uh, what's going on there. Um, but in any case, you can see the the diff on the on the merge request. Um, indeed. So I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you have any feedback, please uh, feel free to add it on the merge request, and we'll be really appreciated. Cool. Uh, any questions on this? Or, I mean, I think Hannes, like you wanted a follow up in this last month, but not sure if that addressed all the questions you had uh, in terms of where things are. Uh, I think uh, most of the questions I had are addressed. Uh, I'll have to look at the uh, magic quest again. Uh, I'll do that today. But I think cool. most of the concerns I had uh, were addressed. Cool. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Cool. Okay. I'll just move on to the next slide. I mean, just said one topic for under any other business. I don't know if people have any anything else that people want to bring up, but I. Uh, I think the vast majority of the core team members will be a contribute, uh, should be next month, sorry. Uh, next month, uh, I when to see- kind of panicked right there. Right <laughs> yeah, <now. laughs> sorry, yeah, I'm supposed to be on vacation next week too, so that would have been a, that would not have been a good thing for me. But uh, um, uh, just wanted to ask if we should just go ahead and do we want to, I mean, I'm okay either way. We can keep the meeting that will be like a week or two before we converge on to Prague or, I mean, since we'll have a lot of face time uh, at Contribute, should we just uh, cancel it? Just wanted to pull people on people's preference. Um, uh, like I said, I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. We can still have the call and, and have more face time in Prague. I think it would be okay to to cancel it, but I'll be at Prague, so uh, I'm biased, I guess. Uh, mm. I think it would be interesting uh, from to hear from the people who are not in the core team who are on this call if they want to have uh, a recording for next month, or if it's okay for them to that we cancel it, just to get an idea. No, that's actually an excellent question. So, I mean, people that are not core team members, I mean, do you have any thoughts on whether we should uh, keep the meeting or would people be okay if there is sort of silence with no recordings until like April timeframe? Yeah, I think we can skip the meeting. All right. Fine. We can have it in April when when is back. Thanks, Rajendra. Any other opinions or even if it's not recorded, perhaps an option might be also to have a, a, a dedicated meeting um, in person. In any case, uh, or even perhaps um, 
in a conference session where other members of the, uh, of the GitLab team and uh, of the community in general could also join or in there. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then if, uh, you know, whether it's a sort of a, even a sideline discussion over meals, like we can, if there are any action items or interesting topics that come out, we can always document it in this, like uh, in the meeting notes uh, in lieu of the actual meeting. Uh, so even if it's like a three or four bullet points on things that we wanted to, we talked about or things we wanted to work on, um, we can, yeah, definitely add it to this uh, Google Docs here. Um, so in lieu of the meet, in the formal meeting, I think that's a good idea. Oh, go ahead, George, sorry. I'll let you type. Great. Uh, so that takes us to the end of the uh, topics. Like any questions from from anybody on the call, uh, either about the hackathon or or to the core team. Well, if not, I mean, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, happy hackathon, and hope to see you guys at, uh, online. I, I mean, I'll definitely see many of you online during during the hackathon, but hope to see many of you come back to the hackathon. Me, I, I, I'm sorry, core team meetings in the future. Thank sorry, you, really. yeah, you sorry, everyone. I'm stumbling yeah. because it's all right. Thanks. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. See you. See you.